Someone once told me to make a Tesla, not a Kia. Here we are. So it's been a long time coming. I don't even feel like doing videos anymore. I haven't felt like doing videos until I was at least able to get this done. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, myself, my business partners have been working on trying to rebuild what we had as a fertilizer business. And uh, it's kind of weird how it works out because, well, uh, one thing I will say is that we are not a fertilizer company right now. Um, what we are is a uh, private label manufacturing company and uh, what we're able to do is some pretty cool fertilizer related things uh, but when it comes down to it you know at the end of the day we're not a fertilizer company that being said a truck is here for us to load up some fertilizer that being said we had a project uh, this summer that uh, we wanted to take advantage of. Uh, someone had reached out to us. We worked with them on uh, developing something that we felt good putting our name and our effort behind. And, uh, and in fact, we felt so good about it that after we trialed it across several different grass types this year, uh, we approached the person who contacted us and asked if we could take a portion of it and put it out into the market. And so anyway, I, I that, that is the first product we're going to be releasing right now. Uh, it'll be available um, under the, the brand, uh, the uh, Lawn Supply Company brand, and it'll be the Max or G product. Uh, and we're going to have a limited run that we put into uh, commercial lawn care as well, too. Uh, but again, I want to stress this, that you know we are not a fertilizer company, first and foremost. Uh, we are a manufacturing company. So we're going to be doing this as our schedule permits us to be able to do this. And um, uh, the, the nice thing is now is that, you know, we have this awesome uh, brand new facility that, uh, that uh, basically allows us to do this. And, uh, and is, we took everything that we learned at Carbon Earth and have repurposed it into what we do now. So um, anyway, I wanted to show, like, for instance, being able to throw a bag on the ground and it not break open and go everywhere. Um, we have had uh, several thousand pounds of material spread now and we don't have any clumping issues. And I'll give a little bit of rundown of what this technology is and why we like it, is uh, we're using um, biochar again, of course, because that's kind of where we built our reputation. And, uh, and I, felt, I feel like, at least in the biochar space, um, we probably have uh, one of the best handles on it uh, as far as how to achieve certain outcomes out of using it. Um, and so uh, what we did is we're taking biochar from two different sources, one that we previously used at Carbon Earth, uh, another uh, that is going to be a little bit different. And um, what's different about it is that one is going to be targeted more towards uh, water holding capacity uh, and uh, manipulating some of the uh, the release effects of the fertilizer. The other is going to be um, purely for adsorption purposes of the fertilizer that is homogenized with it. So all, all that to say, um, the other pieces of this, uh, you know, again, we're continuing to work with the peptide material just because we've had such overwhelming success with it on a variety of different turf types, um, everything from uh, fairways, tee boxes, golf greens, sports fields, uh, residential lawns, you name it. And so that having that level of success with it, we thought we would go ahead and continue with it. Um, this particular first product is going to be a combination of EDDHA iron and a homogenous ammonium sulfate, ferrous sulfate. And um, so no oxide micronutrients everything is going to be immediately available uh, the way it's formulated is to uh, maximize that solubility uh, to get the biggest bang for your buck and uh, and the most positive response from the iron as possible um, the other aspect too is that we are 
right now going to be the only companies that are using triazone urea as a uh, as a slow release mechanism so instead of using chicken litter like we were before as the uh, component that undergoes um, microbial mineralization in order to release nitrogen or whatever else was in the chicken litter uh, this particular instance we're actually using uh, triazone urea as the slow release nitrogen source so um, it, it, part of this is going to be homogenized, part of it is going to be blended with an immediate release uh, urea, and you're going to see uh, that the urea has a pink tint to it, and that's going to be because of the various coatings that we're using um, to actually manufacture this, keep it stable, all that fun stuff. So uh, anyway, if you, if you saw in the short I put out yesterday, it's kind of a joke calling it pink venom just because the material is pink and, uh, and will remain that way as we continue to produce this product. Now, if we're going to take the base product and that technology, um, we are using the name NYMEC right now. Um, we are going to be blending various inputs with NYMEC as this moves along. What that time frame looks like right now, I don't know. Uh, because, again, this is something we made way back in summer. Uh, we had to wait on our bagging equipment to come in. I know you've seen me tease a little bit of the bagging equipment. And uh, once, it, once it did come in, then we have to go through a commissioning process. So it's been a long time coming to get to this point. And, uh, and so to continue to progress from here is going to take more time. But at least what I can say is at this point right now, uh, we've got quite a bit of material that is uh, come off the line and uh, ready to go. So anyway, I just wanted to, I don't know, toot my own horn, I guess, because um, a couple things one a lot of people said we'd never be able to do it again i knew we would uh, the other thing too is that i wanted to offer a message of encouragement for people out there that you know if in the, the event you fail at whatever it is you do never ever 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 give up um, what it took for us to get here was an unbelievable amount of sacrifice and i'm not saying sacrifice from just me i'm talking about everybody involved in here um, it's, this business is not just myself. Uh, we've got John Borden again is in here, Dick, uh, Carson. Um, the sacrifice that we have undergone to get it here that everybody uh, employed is, has been monumental. Um, and it's, it's not just us, it's our families. Um, it's, it's all of our loved ones. It's the missed appointments with kids. It's the missed appointments with our spouses, girlfriends, all that fun stuff. Uh, really, really long hours working until the middle of the night uh, just to have the opportunity to do it again because we knew we could. And, uh, and so we did. And it feels amazing to be at this point. And everybody's incredibly proud. No one's more proud of the team than I am. I promise you that. And, uh, and so we, we figured, what the hell? We did it. Let's get it out there. And it's kind of a, a passion project for us because, like I said, you know, our our, our bread and butter is contract manufacturing. Um, we are not, uh, a, a fertilizer is not the primary focus where we have time in our manufacturing schedules where it's going to become a focus. And now that we've got this first run out of the way, we developed the manufacturing process for it because this product has never been made before. It's completely novel. And, uh, and it took a lot of time to get comfortable with the uh, type of, of granulation equipment we had to use to manipulate the line to be able to get this product to come out, uh, to be able to get this product to come out efficiently, to maximize the yield curve, crush strength, all that fun stuff, to make sure it doesn't clump in a bag or get wet. Uh, all the things that we experienced at Carbon Art, we wanted to make sure none of that happened. And uh, so as part of our, our passion project, when we have time away from our other customers and projects, we were able to put it together. And so we'll continue moving forward with it. But again, I just wanted to to talk about it and uh, let you know that here it is, it's here. You're gonna see it on Rhinor Lawn Care website as uh, Max or G. Uh, if you're a commercial applicator and you have any interest in it, uh, you can reach out to us at renovo.eco, R-E-N-O-V-O.eco. Uh, that's, that's our new, our new company. So we did it, we're back. Y'all have a good one.